Hey guys, it's Redlore. We're back with F uh, uh, episode 9 of my Minecraft Herpaderp, I mean Let's Play series. Alright, so, a um, couple things. <clears throat> We're going to try to keep uh, keep this episode down on the time. Uh, really want to keep these things um, much smaller. So, uh, things that I wanted to cover today. Um, one, I wanted to make some Zycorium bricks. Uh, you guys remember we found this... Uh, this zycordite that we picked up, and uh, apparently we can put together these blocks. Um, and I also found a recipe for bricks, which apparently don't connect on the on the corner. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna make a couple of a couple of handfuls of these red zycordite bricks. And I've smelted a whole bunch of stuff from the last trip down to mine. There should be a couple of stacks of sand in here. There we go. All right, and we're gonna finish smelting up these uh, zycorium. Doodly dee, doodly dee. There we go. All right, and one of the other things we're going to do this episode is organize the chests. So I'm trying to figure out a way uh, that I want to have them all laid out. Um, looking for bricks. X, Y, C. Here they are over here. Those are green. Well, anyhow. So we need our bricks in a plus shape, and then our zycordite on the corners. Paint these guys. Oh, these work. These project tables are nice. I'm liking these. I think vanilla needs to get some of these. <clears throat> oh, I get four for each of these. Okay. Yep. Just do that. Now I've got 32 of them. And I think... Yep, the backpack and the drill are in here. And the backpack goes here. Bat pack, I'm sorry. And let's, uh, let me go get some of these put in and we'll see... Actually, you know what, let me put them in around the front here. And we'll see how they look. Alright, so back in a second when I get them, uh, when I get these bricks put in. All right, and there we are <clears throat> with the red zycordite, or zycorium bricks. I like it a lot. I'm going to need to get a whole lot more of them. I think I'm going to do a red stripe all the way around the house. So lots, lots more, need a lot, a lot more bricks, a whole lot more bricks. Okay. So for the chest organization, um, what was I, th I was just thinking about moving one of these. I might move move the floor around a little bit. Yeah, so uh, there's been a whole lot that's happened um, since the last time you guys were with me. Uh, finished up the floors. Um, I also finished up the enchanting room. We'll head up there real quick. I'm thinking this is all new to you guys anyhow. I've got this uh, laid out up here. I'm also going to put my nether portal um, in here. I've made a space for it just in the back here. And we'll close up the, the mine head. Alright, so yeah, with the chest organization, I wanted to dig real quick. Pick all this stuff up. Wanted to dig around in NEI real quick and see if we could find any other or different types of uh, chests or bags or something. Alright, so we, we want to get the chest organization going. So, and I'm thinking, like, a chest for ores and chest for crystals and gems. So, yeah. Uh, so let's take a look here real quick. Uh, bag. We have bags. Alchemal bags. 
No idea. A bag of holding? That sounds fun. Dark iron ingots. Not sure where those come from. A seed bag. And a canvas bag. String and sticks. Alright. I think I've got all of that. The string is up here. Not sure how much string I can make, or how much canvas I can make, but we can give that a shot. Um, we'll put them in here. Surrounded by string. Okay. All right. And I believe. Yep. Okay. And we'll just paint this guy in here. Eight canvas. All right. And what does this do? Can I place it? Oh. Oh! This seems like it would be more helpful than our tool bag, doesn't it? Alright, and... Can I put this stuff in it? Awesome. I can't put it in itself, though. I can't turn it inside out. Well, that's... Okay, well... I've got my, uh, my new favorite thing. Okay. Uh, let's put this stuff back. And the bag can go in there. Alright, we were looking for a chest. I'm gonna drop off these bricks. Um... Chest. A storage. Energy storage. Extracting chests. Okay. Extra dimensional storage. Need one of those. A barrel. Wood in a slab. I've got plenty of wood. Wood. And a slab. All right. There we go. And I see it makes nothing. Alright, well, what that tells me is that, just like a bunch of everything else, redwood can't be used. Alright, try this again with... Spruce. Nope. Was it a barrel? Oh, I need to use actual logs. Okay. Um, well, that, that changes things a bit. Um, I don't have any more redwood logs. I'm going to have to go... Oh, no, I've got some here. I need to go and chop down more trees. Alright. And redwood logs. It does work. Look at that. Okay. What does this thing do? Barrel. Not exactly sure what that's supposed to be on the side of it. Little hoops, I guess. Yes, it's empty. I need to put stuff in it. Let's put wood in our barrel. Okay, 
So it's got one thing. Oh, no, this is not what I want to do at all. So it's got one thing in it, and that's all I can put in it is one thing. God bless it. So, oh, okay. So it's a right click to put it in, and a left click to get it out. Awesome. Okay. Well, we'll have to we'll have to play around with that. I can put stacks of stuff in it. How much stuff can I put in it? Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of awesome. All right. <clears throat> um, but we wanted chests. No, chest pain. It looks like an apiarist's chest. What? What? An iron chest? Is a chest made of iron? Okay. Gold, diamond, copper, silver, crystal, ender chest. That sounds like something. I need. I'm gonna have to get to the end to get some blaze rods. Okay. Um. Let's make an iron chest. I have stuff for making an iron chest. I have plenty of iron. Um, I need a chest and some iron. Iron, iron chest. Awesome. What does this guy do? It's a chest. Alright, well. Wait a minute. Okay, my inventory's empty. I freaked out a second. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Oh! I wonder if... Oh. Oh, these get expensive. Okay. Alright. Copper chest. I don't think I want to spend my copper. Okay. Iron to gold chest upgrade. Mm hmm. Well, it looks like I might be building a whole bunch of iron chests. Well, that seems kind of spiffy. I don't know that I have all that much iron I want to sacrifice, however. Let me, um, let me get some more of this stuff moved around here and figure out what I've got and how much I feel like I want to spend on chests. Because I'm going to need a lot of chests. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 18 chests I count uh, is what I'm wanting. All right, let me let me do some math and some calculating here and I will be back in a few minutes. Actually, it won't be a few minutes for you guys, so sit tight. All right, back again um or back back. And what I have decided to do is there's where did it go? All right, so you see that I've got some of these chests upgraded. Um Let's see if it will let me use jungle wood. I found a recipe for an upgrade. So we can upgrade a normal chest, apparently, to an iron chest in place. Seemingly. There we go. 
So now I equip this guy and smack the chest with it, and it becomes an iron chest. So that's kind of awesome. I will work on, between episodes, getting, uh, getting my storage room here figured out. Now that I have barrels, apparently I can store multiple stacks of stuff in barrels. Well, let's see. Um, awesome. It's a lot of clicking. Awesome. And I have to move this stuff down. Put it in the barrel. Whoa! What happened? Um. Oh! So if I double click, so if I get a bunch of stuff out of here, and if I double right click on this, it just puts it all in there. That's awesome. And now look at that chest. It's it's almost empty. And it's all in one location. Okay. I'm going to need more barrels, obviously. Okay. Uh, moving on, moving on. Let's see. The bricks we did. The chests we have figured out. Um, I need to I need to go feed the feed the cows because we need leather because you'll notice I've got 50, oh, it's dark I've got 55 levels and I've still not enchanted anything and I, oh somebody has somebody's been on my server all right um, we'll have to find out where they're at um, where was I at oh yes 55 levels um, concerned that I'm going to perish and lose it all and that would stink so. Um, need to feed the cows and get the leather. And this brings me around to something else that I want to start looking at or thinking about. Is there's got to be some... Man, everybody's... Everybody's vocal today. There's got to be some way to automate... Like, Bob Saget! Creepers need to stay away. Alright, there's a great big hole that I'm going to need to fix. Um, so there's got to be some automated way to uh, to feed animals. It just it doesn't make any sense otherwise. Okay, and what was I going to need? Oh yeah, I'm going to get a couple of stacks of dirt out of my barrel. That's awesome. I love it. All right, so there's got to be some way that we can automate uh, feeding. Oh, and he just despawned. Excellent. Feeding these animals is tedious and boring. Alright, um, we'll take care of this later. Alright. Oh. There we go. And... Finish breeding these guys. Walk all the way around here. Alright. So we need the leather. We've got to find some way of automating a trough. Um, feeder. Feed. Feeding module. I need Blaze to make an ender eye. We can try this out. I don't know what it does. A feeding station. That sounds like something that we could do. Golden carrots. And steel plates. And a rolling machine. A rolling machine is... Iron pistons and a crafting table. Oh, wait a minute. I need steel. Where do we get steel from? Melt a crowbar in a blast furnace and get steel. I have crowbars. That's even more awesome. Okay. Um, blast furnace. Furnace. F U R. Blast furnace is soul sand, nether brick, and magma cream. Okay. Well, 
That sounds like I need to go to the nether. Awesome. All right. Well, that said, now we, we know we've got to go to the nether before we can think about automatically feeding stuff. Okay. So, there is a way to automatically feed animals. And what I did was I went back to the villages that I've been at, and I, I destroyed all the bookshelves and all the houses that I could find. And I brought back the books that I got from those, and I'm going to make up a whole bunch of these bookshelves like that. And then I'm going to get some ruby and some sticks. I guess just a regular crafting table in here somewhere would uh, would be helpful. And I'm going to get a ruby pickaxe. And I'll put my dirt back. This is awesome. <laughs> I love it. Alright, a ruby pickaxe. And I'm going to... I've got my books. i got my pickaxe. It is the middle of the day. I'm going to head up the hill here. And see what we can get on my pickaxe. All right. 30. I'll take it. What did we get? Efficiency 4. <sighs> well... I'll come back in five levels then. I wonder if I could if I can enchant my drill. It's here somewhere. Let's go spin the levels and see what we got. I don't know that I want to put anything on the drill though. For fear of breaking it. Nope. Sure can't. Alright, so we've taken care of getting the enchanting done. Well, this, this episode is going to wrap up here quick, so I'll tell you what we'll do. For grins. Oh. So I also found out you can apparently eat potatoes. And I'm also going to show you something else that I learned. Put my wheat back. The powered furnaces apparently cook food super de duper fast, and you can cook potatoes. Look at the, how fast it renders those. And what does it make when you make, uh, cook potato? It gives you baked potatoes. So that was a flub where I was sh shift clicking on stuff to move it around in an inventory, and it ended up in the furnace. And I had baked potatoes. That's kind of awesome. All right, so the last thing for this episode. Looks a whole lot like a nether portal. That's because it is another portal. And steel. No, I need. Do, 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 do. Iron. And. Iron and flint. How does it go? How does the flint and steel go? I've got them backwards, don't I? Yep. It, I, okay, a little bit of dyslexia, never hurt anybody. Alright, and I've got... i got my flint and steel, and I've got my obsidian, because I found a great big lava pool, and I decided it was time to have obsidian. And I'm going to bring my drill along. And let's build another portal. See what we get for another spawn. And I'll come back and block up this thing later. Alright. Do I have anything on me that I don't want to lose? My drill. But that will be okay. Alright. We'll see you guys on the other side. 
All right. I have, uh, have entered the nether, and I hear ghasts all over the place. I'm just going to go into the wall here. Oh, that's nice and fast. And deep. So I got my we need to go deeper achievement. That's awesome. And here I am in the nether. The spawn was at least nice enough uh, that this is nether rack has never been so fast ever. Okay, so let's uh, let's go take a peek at what we've got. And I saw like this texture. I guess this I've got Optifine installed, and I'm guessing that it's it's making the, the textures appear this way. All right. Oh, there's some glowstone over there I could probably get. There's some glowstone right here I can get. Awesome. So we're going to be looking for another fortress. I'm not real sure how much I want to, uh, I want, how much time I want to spend this episode um searching oh there's the ghast and i think she's following me so we'll go look in this direction here real quick there's glowstone right over my spawn that's kind of awesome All right. Yeah, that's got to be Optifine that has uh, that has done that. I wonder. Um, real quick, if I dive in here and turn natural textures off. Yep, that's what was doing it. That was Optifine that was making that happen. Oh my, at the lava. Yep, so it would seem that we're going to need to go and find a uh, another fortress to get some nether bricks. And to find blazes to get some blaze rods. Yep, nice to see you too, piggies. <coughs> Don't want to do a whole lot. Uh, was that a bat? Oh, he's coming at me. Oh! Oh! I'm on fire. Good lord have mercy. Bats that set you on fire. I don't think I like this nether. For a fortress. So much glowstone that's accessible. Wow. Let's eat some baked potatoes and sprinting everywhere. He's doing a number on my health. I've also not seen any soul sand. Is that gravel down there? Yeah. Or nether wart, but I think those are probably something I'm only going to find in, uh... What is that? Oh, he drops gunpowder. Oh, that's kind of cool. So soul sand, I think that's only some, that's something I'm only going to find in a fortress. I don't, I've not seen as much of it naturally occurring. Waiting for the chunks to load. Man, it would seem that I spawned way, way far away from a from a fortress. What is that? Oh, it's just 
XP. Almost looked like somebody had been in here, huh? All right. Well, guys, uh, I'm gonna keep uh, gonna keep tooling around the Nether here and see if we can find a Nether fortress. I hear you. All right. Yep. We're gonna see if we can find another fortress and uh, start harvesting some Nether bricks and find a blaze spawner that we can start working on. That would be nice. So we'll see you guys next time. Uh, been nice to have you along. I guess uh, everybody will enjoy having. A nice short episode to watch. Um, oh my. Grapid Pits of Lava. Alright guys, um, subscribe. If you've been having fun, let me know. Uh, suggestions, comments, questions. I'll do what I can to answer questions. I don't know that much about Feed the Beast yet, but I'll sure try. Been nice to have you along. Have fun.